Heavenly Father, we come to you in this hour, asking for your guidance and protection to our virtual gathering today. We thank you for the gift of life, the gift of family, the gift of work, and the gift of friendship. We thank you for this great opportunity to bring us together in this session as brothers and sisters. Bless the committee, the facilitator, and the attendees of this gathering. May we continue to value and appreciate the true essence and meaning of life with the help of your grace. And as we go along to our discussion today, we humbly pray that you would deepen our understanding. Lord, enlighten us and give us wisdom every day. Forgive us for our shortcomings and remind us to always be mindful of the things we do in life. We offer our life and our decisions to you, O Lord. May this gathering today create a memorable experience and a fruitful outcome. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Redeemer and our Savior. Amen. Before the webinar begins, kindly rename your Zoom name to your complete name and your strand and section. Mute your microphone when not in use. 
switch on your video if your connectivity allows you. If you have questions with regards to the discussion, feel free to ask after the session. Good morning, everyone. Our facilitator today for module two is no other than Ms. Oriel Lisa Z. Maipa, the faculty of Silliman University and their senior high school department. Okay, hello everyone and good morning. Thank you for joining me at this hour. Maybe nang higda pa ang uban, wala pa naligo ang uban. But anyway, I want to know how you're feeling right now at this very moment. Can you put it in the chat box, please, for those who are joining me in Zoom? And for those who are in um, our YouTube live session, can you also... Tell me how you are feeling right now. Sige, ibahaan ninyo ang atong chat box. Sleepy? <laughs> feeling good? How about sa atong YouTube? We have 54. 54 pa ka um, Watchers, what do you call this one? Viewers in YouTube. Jared, good. Sigi, good. Feeling energized. Fine. I'm okay, pass all right. Wala po na si Arninio Ron. Yeah, anyway, I hope you'll be energized. This will not take long if you just participate and answer my questions. Sayura tamahuman. A little bit tired, even though you just woke up. Well, that's normal, perhaps, in young age, no? In our YouTube, good slang, ma'am. Good morning. Feeling tired, but nangapi uh, siya. Okay, yes. Very good. Ako wala pa ko'y pangapi. Mangapi ko yun after this session. So, nalang ko madali siya. Mahuman siya dahil Okay, so um, I, I want you to participate just Chat, there's a chat box, even though if I'm speaking here, but don't like go far beyond the topic. Ha? Ayon, tayo ma-distract na ang, ang uban na. Okay, so let's go directly to our topic. So today is uh, module two. You are going to learn about... Wait, what can you share? Can you see it? Ah, wala yung nakita. Wait, sa ha? Can they see it now? I don't think they can. Ah, there. Sige. Okay. So this is, uh, again, module two, apply productivity tools and collaborative development. Wait, so John, I can't see myself in the off the open video. <laughs> so uh, yeah, again, we are now in module two, apply productivity tools where we got your uh, performance task from and uh, collaborative development. So let's not define um, my, uh, what applied productivity tool is first. Let's go first to what you were going to learn after uh, this big lecture discussion. So first is you're going to use common productivity tools effectively by maximizing advanced application. That's your performance staff. So about we had Microsoft Word. So this is the productivity tool that you are going to learn and maximize also the advanced applications. That's why you have these applications, managing, uh, I mean, functions, managing header and footer, head, that's header, sorry, 
uh, managing citations and bibliography, managing comments, managing table of contents. So we have to maximize the usage of this to be able to help you with your schoolwork. And later on, of course, this will also be needed when you go to, uh, when you have a job, when you have a career, this will come in handy. Okay, and for PowerPoint, we had uh, managing links, managing slideshow. Yeah, managing links and managing slideshow, but there are a lot of things you can still do in PowerPoint. The next learning outcome is you will create, uh, you'll be able to create an original or derivative ICT content to effectively communicate or present data or information related to specific professional tracks. So this is where you will learn email communication, proper email communication with your e-signature. So you'll know, learn later on what an e-signature and what are the different ways of putting a, an e-signature in your email. Aside from that, we're also going to learn about Google Drive, which I know you've already been using, but uh, maybe perhaps you need uh, some Google Drive management. Organize your Google Drive. You know that you can um, uh, change the colors, move files from one folder to another, something like that. And then, of course, Google Forms. You've already been using Google Forms. Maybe perhaps your teacher let you enter your information through Google Forms, but then wonder how they did that. So in this lesson, you'll be able to learn how to use Google Forms. And thirdly, you evaluate existing online creation tools, platforms, and applications in developing ICT content for a specific professional track. So you evaluate them on which application much better um, you can use uh, effectively or efficiently. So will you use Microsoft Office Raba or all the Microsoft edition, or you'd rather use Google? So it's entirely up to you. You have to evaluate them on how you want to use them or their usage. So now let's go to our first topic, which is applied productivity tools. So here are some, before we define what applied productivity tools is, here are some of the most commonly used types of productivity tools. So we have word processor, the spreadsheet, presentation program, database management system, and the graphics suite. So each of this will give an example. And I'm all, I also want to ask you um, if you know some of these productivity tools and perhaps you've already been using this. So for sure, I think you already have been using this since you were in elementary school. So first off, word processor. Can you type in in the chat box uh, word processors that you have been using? One example of this is what we've always been using. It's Microsoft Office Word. Do you use any other uh, word processor? Can you put it in the chat box, please? Aside from MS Word, so MS Word, you kalagmitan ang tanan no? Yes, we have Docs. Docs of Word, ragyod ako nakita. And Pages? And sa siya nga Pages? Is it from... Microsoft or what operating system do we see pages? Apple. Sure mo Apple lagingalan niya. Apple Docs. I think there's there. Ah, uh, okay. Mac is for pages. Apple Pages. Okay, yeah. I'm not familiar with with uh, Apple. I'm I'm a Microsoft um user. So yes. WPS. Naapay uban. So I only have like three, uh, WPS, Microsoft Word, Docs, and uh, two from uh, Apple or Mac. Dropbox paper, okay. Dropbox, can you do a Google ano, in Dropbox? I'm not sure. Can you do Google document? I mean, documents in Dropbox? I haven't tried it. I haven't tried it. Maybe you have, but anyway, yes, there is a lot of uh, word processor. 
Uh, aside from, uh, again, Microsoft Word, all that you have mentioned are correct. And these also can be an uh, alternative to Microsoft Word. So maybe perhaps you've heard of LibreOffice. I've used LibreOffice. I think this is for Linux operating system. Uh, of course, Google Docs is what we always use as, as an alternative for a Microsoft Word. Uh, Atomic Scribbler, Notepad. <laughs> you have any Notepad? But no, we don't usually use Notepad if mag research ta. Pwede na dagay if you're going to use it for like an essay uh, type of document. But when we do research where there is already references, table of contents, it would be so like, um, it's it's very it, it it's like a, a, it could be a waste of time if you're just going to use Notepad. But yeah, Notepad can still be used. Uh, free Office Scrib Scribner Scribner. Uh, I thought Simon Scribner. <laughs> yeah, Scribner Creative Writers. Ah, that's nice. Yeah. So for those who are into writing, take note of all these uh, word processor applications that you might find useful. So that's one, that's one type of productivity tool. Uh, next is, ah uh, yeah, OneNote board for those who are in YouTube. There's OneNote. Good. Uh, spreadsheet. So again, what spreadsheets do you know of aside from Microsoft Excel? Spreadsheet. <clears throat> The spreadsheets, I'm waiting for you guys. If there is another alternative, yes, Google Sheets, as always. Ano rin na siya, Microsoft or Google? So aside from Google Sheets, what else do you know of that can be used as an alternative for Microsoft uh, Excel? Yes, WPS, Japan. <laughs> I think WPS is the suite. Yes, aside from Excel, guys, what else? What else do you think is can be used or you have used as an alternative to uh, Microsoft Excel? Outlook is uh, the mail, mail manager. That's where you send in your mails with Microsoft, Microsoft emails. Publisher. Publisher is usually used or like magimo kag mga um, business card, invitations, calendar, infographics. So Excel is mostly like calculations. I'm looking office. Office suite. When you say office suite, when you say suite, that's everything. Like like if you say Microsoft Office Suite, that, that already includes Microsoft Office. Excel and the rest of those applications. Yes, LibreOffice is one. Libre, when you say LibreOffice also, uh, like Microsoft Office, Microsoft Office also includes MS Word, MS Excel. So it's in the entirety now. So just like when you say LibreOffice, LibreOffice already includes ang ilahang um, document, Excel. So anyway, EtherCalc, EtherCalc, okay. Uh, that's the first I've heard of it, but I just usually use both Microsoft um, Excel and um, Google Sheets. So here are some of their alternatives. Yes, Naragya um, LibreOffice. And yeah, you have their EtherCalc, uh, Google Sheets. For LibreOffice, I think they call this LibreOffice Calc. So basically, um, the basic function for Excel is to do calculations. So that's why there's a calc at the end. So these are some, uh, again, of the alternatives you can use for Microsoft uh, Excel app for spreadsheet. Yes, free office. My SQL is, um, can we next nato? <laughs> I believe pa di ay. So, dili ang M, my SQL is uh, lahi pa siya. Dili siya under uh, spreadsheet. So, next is our presentation program. For sure, you've already known and you always use Microsoft PowerPoint. 
But now, especially during the pandemic, a lot of presentation softwares are being developed because everyone is presenting online. So aside from PowerPoint, what other presentation software do you know of? Yeah, Canva. Diba nice kaya yung Canva? I only discovered Canva for um last year or two years, 2020. Yes. And I find it very amazing. And do you know that you can also transfer your files from Canva going to PowerPoint? I-download lang ninyo siya. There, again, there's a lot of tutorials regarding that in YouTube. Yes, Google Slide, as always, um, counterpart niya sa Microsoft is Google. Google. So Google Slides, Canva, Keynote. Keynote. Yes, Keynote. Slides go. What else? Apple Key, yeah, Keynote, Slides. Adobe. What Adobe? Uh, when we say Adobe, <clears throat> you have to like, you have to append the, the, the next word for that because Adobe can be just Microsoft or Google. So there, is, there should be a, a next word to that. For our um, YouTube, we have PowerPoint, Google Slides, Canva. Yeah, that's right. Prezi, yeah, Prezi, nice put kayo ni ang Prezi. Guys, if, you, if your teacher is going to let you um, present online, uh, look into Prezi. You can use Canva as your present, uh, as your slides, but then present it in Prezi. I was supposed to do that right now, but I, um, I was not able to prepare my, my Prezi, and then it might take time. So, yeah, look into Prezi. Photoshop presentation, mostly Photoshop is for um, graphic designing, editing of images. So presentation, I, I don't really, it's not really for a presentation, like slideshows, what, what is meant by presentation program. Uh, what else? InDesign, um, I've heard of InDesign, but perhaps, but Adobe InDesign could be just for designing. Um, I'm not really familiar, but I've heard of it. InDesign, no, Adobe Spark, Prezi, WPS, yes. <gasps> Slide share, yeah. Have you heard of Potoon? Presentation ng sa ng Potoon, di ba? So we have here. There, yeah, Potoon. Guys, Potoon is like uh, you're going to make it into a cartoon, cartoony thing ang in your hand in, in your slides. So, if you've seen like in YouTube na, na yung mga cartoon naglihok-lihok uh, moving. So, th that's used with Potoon. Uh, among these, what have you used na wala ninyo na that you have not mentioned in the chat box? Aside from Prezi, of course, Prezi has already been mentioned. Have you used any any uh, slides from here? Wala. So maybe ano lang no Prezi, perhaps you've known Monkey. What's Monkey? I don't know Monkey. Uh, we also have uh, Vesmi. Can you nice po niyang Vesmi for presentations? I've used Vesmi, and they already have templates. Uh, for your for your presentation, all you need to do is add in the lang your text. So look into this me and of course slides and uh, what's this keynote and the give mawala si Canva. So again, ha, don't just depend on PowerPoint. There are other uh, presentation program or applications that you can utilize. So discover it and then you'll be amazed lang on how you can use Prezi together with PowerPoint, Canva together with PowerPoint, and you can just mix them. Okay, next, data ma maze, data maze, database management system. So basically, um, not MS Access. I don't know if you've already used this, but but usually um those who are taking IT might have uh, used this. So we have, uh, again, there are counterparts for that one. We have LibreOffice, Kexi, Minox, 
open office, G2 deal, Memento. So I'm just showing you that uh, there are other um, applications also, again, aside from um, Microsoft. Graphic Suite, kami, for sure, a lot of you, um, a lot of you already used Photoshop. So aside from Photoshop, what else, uh, what other applications have you used uh, to do some photo editing, perhaps uh, video editing? Whiteboard. So as an whiteboard. See what other game? Yeah, fix art. For those who are into digital, um, <clears throat> digital drawings. Clip Studio. About the rest. How about our our um YouTube audience? Yeah, there's a lot, no? Canva graphics with yeah, pretty sad. So aside from aside from Kwanza Canva, the slideshow, you can use it to edit. Okay, yes. So yeah, actually you're right. You also use what's this? Uh, Corel Draw is for drawing paint. Yes, paint. And uh, yeah, it is paint. You have Krita, Dark Table, Photopea, Gimp, Pixlr, Affinity Photo, Ibis Paint. Yeah. So again, Blender, yeah, those are correct. So we have a lot of <laughs> the MS Paint. Yeah, we've been using MS Paint sa elementary pa, di ba? But we've no, we, until we progressed into ano na, um, Photoshop, Corel Draw. I hope di po mo. I've seen the eyes of students of mine using to add paint. Abalo na ka sa tayong mga drawing. Atubangan ki. I was in front. <laughs> Yes, so let's yeah, let's not let's not uh, forget about MSP. <laughs> okay, so given that, guys, Medibang, sure, po nung Medibang lai lagi tuno. Okay, so given that examples of applied productivity tool, what now can you say about productivity tool? If someone asks you about productive, what's applied productivity tool? What will you say? Can you put it in the chat box? Those are the examples of applied productivity tools. If someone again will ask you, what, what then is applied productivity tool? What will you tell them? The chat. What will you tell them, guys? What are applied productivity tools? What is it, what is it used for then, given all those applications that I've shown you? This of one word, uh, one or two words or sentence, if you like. For editing, yes, you can uh, uh, use, so use it for editing. Word processor, yes, those are examples of applied productivity tools. For documenting, we have, yes, that's right. Uh, Melissa. Yes, that's good. So software that encourages application. Very good. Applications of skills. Tools that are used to organize. But yes, uh, get it from what you have learned or what I have presented here. Get your, your definition of what applied productivity tool is there. Yes, our programs used to be... Don't don't just put uh, like your answers taken from um the PDF file or taken from Google. I want I want it that that it came from you because what the examples that you've already seen um let you understand what applied productivity tools are. Programs that make documents and presentations easier to make. Yes, very good, Jason from YouTube. Uh Yes, that's good, Christine. Yes, very good. Yeah, those are all correct. 
So a plot relative tools are applications that are used to create products through software. Yes, basically that is correct. And usually apply productivity tools comes in bundles. Una to ganina mga suite. We call them office productivity suites. Why do they come in bundles? Because it's easier for you to use them because they have uh, quite similar functions like uh, in Microsoft, imagine Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. But in the file, when you click on file, there are already create new document, uh, save, save as, it, it's the same. So you'll be quite familiar already when you use their uh, line of product. And it's uh, easier for you to install them at once. So here are our example of uh, Office Productivity Suite. So this is MS Suite. So what can you type in the chat box? what uh, the these icons are. Start with verb, yes, yeah, Skype, that's correct. What else? What else do you see here? MS Word, Outlook, yes, the O here. This one here is Outlook. We have Skype, and summoning cloud, overdrive. Publisher, good word, Excel, OneDrive. What's the I here? MS, yeah, very good. They seem we have MS Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, OneNote, ah, Access, MS Outlook, OneDrive, Publisher, Skype. Yes, good job. Kana sa yun na no, okay, because it's what we usually use, Microsoft Suite. But how about this? Ay na na day sula. I can't ask you because it's already there. So ani na lang. This is G Suite. Um, what have you not used na lang? What have you not used here? What have you not utilized in the Google Suite? What have you not used in Google Suite? Sites, yeah, okay. Sites is for creating, um, creating websites. You can use this later on on your um second quarter, uh, performance task where you have to create a website. What's keep? Yeah, mm -hmm. keep. I haven't used keep. Jumboard, you have not used Jumboard? Perhaps I can let you use Jumboard. Uh, yes. Google Chat. Oh, Google Chat, guys. Uh, look into, go into your Gmail and on the sidebar there, you'll see the chat. You can chat there, chat sa inyo. Instead of like sending them an email, you chat with them. So it's basically just uh, embedded, say, not embedded, not embedded, but it's in the Microsoft, in Gmail. What else, man? Wala gamit. How about in our YouTube? Wala man kayo maningog sa YouTube, oy. Jumboard, sites, and keep ang wala na gamit. Sites, okay. Chat, sites, okay. Hi, Mafet Kono. Google Keep. Kai notes. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, Patricia. So, guys, uh, you you also um discover Keep. So it's like you put your notes there. It's is it like is it a secret notes where you can put it there? Yeah. But basically, it's in the word no Keep. You also discover it. You you can actually go to the katong may daghang dag. What do we call that? Google application. Google Apps. Google Apps. Yeah, where you can see all your Google applications, the Microsoft, all of these. I think I, I will go on now. Ah, sige, sige, ha, wait. Let me try to, since you haven't used Jamboard, let's try Jamboard. Wait. Um, so I'll, I'll show you what I'm, I'm talking about here when I say uh, you might share, Sakoha. 
Yeah. Wait, I'm sharing my other window. It's not showing yet. Wait. So John, can they see it now? Can they see my, my video? Yeah. It's showing now. Okay. So this is where you can see all your or oh, excuse me. All your Google application. So scroll down more on that. So you'll see here keep. Um I'll 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 show you what Jumboard is. So maybe perhaps I'll create a new Jumboard here. Uh here. Wait there. Then I am going to share this to everyone, and then I just would want you to put in your uh perhaps your name name on the jump board. I'll put it in the chat box. Okay, access that and there. Then ano lang. Um, shout out there. A shout out. So once you can access it, you just use the sticky notes here. Then, magawasan na siya dito. Sige, shout out mo guys. Yeah, you have to use your SU email. Have to access that. Wrong permissions. Na ano yung nakasulod? How about our YouTube, Sir John? Okay, it's already there. Sige, the rest, you just use this sticky note here or you can just type directly. But much better ang sticky notes. Bili mo ka app ka kuan? Wait ha. Ah, viewer lang. Dapat editor. Editor. Wait, let me copy again the link. There. Sige. So also our our YouTube ha, our YouTube viewers, please participate in the jump board. No na na si high crash. Kim say crash ani. <laughs> yes, go shout out mo guys sa inyong kuan crash and everyone. So we have also other sections in YouTube since we can only accommodate we can only accommodate 500 participants in 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 Zoom but we only have 273 maybe perhaps the rest would want to join and 93 in YouTube uh, diba? Nabinuang ng uban. <laughs> so basically, that is how you uh, use Jumboard. Pwede pa na siya mailisan ang background. There. <laughs> okay. So you can access that. Then I can just continue as well with... Um, asa na ko? Lost na ko. That was Applied Productivity uh, Office Suite, G Suite, right? So, share. Okay. So, next would be, um, next would be uh, this one. Are you guys familiar with this? Balik na ta sa chat. No, hindi lagi ka access. For those who can't access, dapat you have to access it using your um SU email. Okay, about this, guys, are you familiar with these tools? What do you think it, are these tools called? Wala, no? Karong papod ko ani actually <laughs> because I only just utilize um, Microsoft and Google. So, yeah, most of us are not familiar, but then again, there are other productivity tools aside from Microsoft and Google. So this one is Zoho. Zoho. 
maybe were too scared no of transferring from from one suite to another one suite to another so wait wait oh wait sir wait sir Um, okay, ako sa ilak ang jamboard ha. Kay wa pa man humandira. How do I lock this actually? How do I lock this sa Jan? Wait you guys. I have to stop sa the jamboard ha. I have to stop first the jamboard. I'm oh, sorry, wait. Okay, asa na ko? Nawala na ko. Nawala ko. <laughs> okay, get there. So also discover Zoho, Zoho Suite. I'm not sure if that's how we pronounce it. But yeah, Zoho. And of course, this one. What do you think this is? Loyal does less MS. So it's a Google. How about this, guys? Ulahi ang sa YouTube, no? Yeah, delicious. <laughs> Dili, <laughs> Yeah, kinaan naman, di ba? So, basically, obviously, the I, yeah, it's the Libre Office. Eh. So, yeah, loyal ka sa office, Microsoft Office, or Google. But, basically, uh, those are just some. Di pa ginisya, these are not all of them. There are still a lot. These are just some of the office productivity suite. And of course, last but not the least, Kani, Unsamanisha, who is operating this? Yes, Nana Tai, see, Kisa Mantong Nakauna, GPM, Kisa Mantong Nakauna, Blanco, yeah, that's Adobe. How about say YouTube? I am also checking the chat in YouTube. Ah, uh, delayed. Did someone answer now, so John? What did they say? What is this? Adobe. Adobe. Yes, very good. Yes, that's Adobe. So, what do you usually use in Adobe? Guys, what do you usually use in Adobe? Photoshop, edits. Wow, alala. Wait, ni balhin. Anime. I think I'm only familiar or use the i Photoshop. Uh, Creative Cloud. Dreamweaver. Lightroom, a little bit. I don't know how. I don't really like um explore Lightroom. I, I think I prefer uh, Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro is where you... Mm, Premiere Pro is where you uh, edit videos. Wow, everything ran. <laughs> There's portfolio. There are some of, of these... um. Softwares that I haven't really known of, like the name portfolio, Behance, Bridge, those are new to me. So it's good to know that I can see uh, a lot of you have already utilized some of the uh, of the of the applications. Wow, 3D modeling. I say 3D modeling and which one is the 3D modeling? That's nice, no, if you're already into that. 
There are a lot of things to discover, so discover them now. Chart. And do you actually know, guys, that you have a free um, Microsoft Office 365 account that you can install in your uh, computers? So in your laptop, in your desktop, so the other niches of phone. So uh, the school is giving us that free access. You just need to email um, MIS, ako i-type sa chat box, MIS at su.edu.ph. Ask for your login details. Uh, SU, uh, MIS or MIS groups. MIS groups at su.edu.ph. Actually, you can find the instruction uh, regarding this in uh, module two uh, under applied productivity tools. So this is licensed and install your uh, unlicensed koan, Microsoft offices and then install the the latest version of Microsoft. Uh, for those in YouTube, again, just email mis at su.edu.ph or mis groups at su.edu.ph and ask for your office, uh, Microsoft Office 365 login details. And I think I've also placed in our virtual classroom how to install it, but in case it's not there, Always uh, get tutorials, uh, look for tutorials in YouTube on how to install uh, this uh, application. So I have questions here. Uh, yeah, subscription din na ang, ano na ang, ang Photoshop because of course they have also have to earn. But there's um, a portable Photoshop there's a portable Photoshop that you can just download, but the the functions are limited. Um, I don't know. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, portfolio. I haven't used it, but but that's nice. It's for to combine multiple types of files. That's nice. Well, it, it's it's like another thing. No Google Drive. You can combine a lot of different files there in Google Drive. So yeah, ha, please um I don't 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 waste uh, money buying Microsoft Office, the, the the legit version, because I mean the licensed version, because we already uh you have this, you're you're free to use or to install Microsoft Office. Okay, so I think basically that's it for uh the first topic, applied productivity tools. Now let's move on to our last topic, which is uh, collaborative development. So in collaborative development, we have uh, email communication and cloud computing. So this is where you will learn how to properly compose an email and learn about cloud computing. So this is basically under the collaborative development environment. So when we say collaborative development environment, uh, this word is coined by uh, Grady Butch and Alan W. Uh, so 2002. Pa. And they say that uh, this is an online meeting space where a software development project stakeholders can work together no matter what time zone or region they are in to discuss, document, and produce product deliverables. So about with the use of email or any uh, any cloud computing product, you can work together any time of the day, even if you are from different regions of the world. So let's go uh, start first with email. Email clients or email provider. What email clients or email provider do you know of or you have used? One example there is, of course, Gmail. What other, aside from Yahoo, aside from Gmail, these are all the very known or basic. Yes, Outlook. How about in YouTube? Guys, in YouTube. Sir John, is someone already chatting in YouTube? Okay. Yahoo. Or balik-balik ra ang tulo. Gmail, Yahoo. Hotmail. 
Yandex, I haven't heard Samsung. Okay, Mozilla Thunderbird. Mozilla Thunderbird is not really a Koa. AOL, yeah. Mozilla Thunderbird is like Google. Google has Gmail. So Mozilla Thunderbird has. Sa Apple ba ni Thunderbird? Oh, Thunderbird or Microsoft. So it's not really the email uh, provider. Firefox? Um, Firefox? Is a, I'm not sure about Firefox. What I know about Firefox is, is the um, browser. Yeah. iCloud Mail, okay. How about in YouTube Outlook? Duha pa akong nabasahan sa YouTube. Yeah. At su.edu.th, that is our, what do you call that, domain? Domain. Yeah, that's the domain. Just like yahoo.com, that's the domain. Or aol.com, that's the domain. Okay, yes, basically those are all um, the not, I mean, all of your answers are correct. Most of the answers are correct. Some I have to, I have to verify first because of course, um, I don't, we don't use all of these email providers. We don't utilize all of them, but for sure, Gmail is always there. AOL, Yahoo. And these are all the emails I have. So basically, these are all I know of. But can you imagine this? So you can say reaction. In your, can I get a reaction on on the chat box or sa ano ninyo icons? Icons. <laughs> reaction on your icons. <laughs> That's what my, uh, how I reacted as well when I saw all of this. I think I only know three and use three, but actually there are a lot, a lot more to this. Can I take a screenshot? So I'm not sure if you're familiar also with the other icons here, but yeah. So there again, guys, there are a lot of things for you to discover. And don't just stick on what you have been using, because maybe perhaps there are still a lot of uh, discoveries, um, things that are waiting for you to discover. And maybe perhaps you'll like it much better than what you're used to. And I've also researched on this. So 2019 Panisha. Um, they're in competition with um with that another email provider. Um Yahoo. Oh gosh, I forgot no, but Gmail was in competition with another uh email provider, but with the with the active user, see si Gmail get ang pinakadaghan. So active users have a Gmail group. I think that was, oh gosh, I forgot. AOL, or there was another email provider that has a lot of um, registered users, but then again, active users are still under Gmail. It, maybe because it's also what we, in our school in Silliman is utilizing. So our S at su.edu.h, it's under Gmail. So maybe perhaps that is also part. I haven't heard of this, this one with the app here. The, what's that? Noita? Noita mail? I'm not, I don't know if you can see it. The one with the app. Tencent. QQ. I think that's part of the Asia. China, I think we usually use that. Ah, Russian email. Thank you, Christine. Thank you, Kian. 
Uh, yeah, I think Tencent all, also is China and um, Korea, I'm not sure. Outlook, what's the name Outlook? I, I don't use Outlook. <laughs> NetEase, I haven't heard of NetEase. Ah, yeah, China, Tencent. Mm. <laughs> okay, so given that, you should know how to, how to, Outlook is office. Yeah, I think so also, see if Outlook is office. Um, given this, uh, I hope you also know how to use your email properly. Because again, email and chatting in Messenger or any social media accounts is different. Because of course, in email, it's more of a um, uh, what they call it, professional looking, or more, more. What do you call that term? Delicia pang pang friends. Aside from being professional, formal. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. It should be formal. When you send an email, especially to a teacher, it should be formal. It should not sound like you're just chatting with a, with a teacher uh, through Messenger or Asapanasha. Okay, so it should have like this. And can anyone tell me what part of an email is this one here? What part of the email is that? That is your, what? Yes, the recipient. What email, what part of the email, email? How about in YouTube? Bro, I, I constantly get to say YouTube. Yes, the recipient or the email address of your recipient. The two field, but you have two field, the CC, CC, the BCC. CC carbon copy. Basically, it's you're sending the same email to another recipient. BCC is a blind carbon copy, the one you putting the BCC to. Um, they're gonna receive the email, but the one you the two in the two field and the CC field don't know who you are sending the blind carbon copy to. Okay. Uh, yeah, your clients, <laughs> your clients, yeah, your clients. Uh, how about this field here? What is this called? Yes, the subject line. Make sure your subject also, delicious subject it is not your subject and tech, okay? The subject, make sure your subject coincides with what you're also trying to say in your email. But in Gmail, do you know that you can type in first your message. And after you're typing your entire message, you click on the subject, it's automatically automatically going to suggest a subject. So without you thinking now what your subject will be. So again, try that in Gmail, type your, your uh, type whatever you want to put in your in, in the body of the email and then click on the subject line and it's automatically going to suggest a subject. Okay. Next, how about this? What's that? What do we call that part? Header. Unai header na footer. Just that part. That the one that says hi, Mrs. Willis. Yes, yeah, salutation. Padukunasha greetings. Salutations or greetings. Two from <laughs> Yes, that's the greetings or salutations. You can either say hi or dear or dear Mrs. Willis. Hi, Mrs. Willis or hello, Mrs. Willis. What do you usually say when you say hi or hello? When you greet? It's usually dear or dearest. Dearest. After that, you can also say, um, you can salutations, right? You can also say uh, greetings in the name of the Lord. Or I hope this email finds you well. 
there's a lot of a uh, lot of things you can say there. Okay, how about this one? What is this? What do we call this? Yes, that's the body. <laughs> Send money the YouTube body. That's the body. Body. Body muddy. What's it see muddy? Yeah, ang lawas sa imahe. Imahe. <laughs> That's right. And next would be pasunod na siya. So, unsa man ni siya. Yes, that's your closing. Okay. You have to take note of this one how when you and when you there you have an assignment here, right? For module 2, the activity. So, make sure your uh the composition of your email has all of this so that you have a perfect score perfect score do and of course the last one is your <laughs> signature very good your one and only cutie that's your signature or someone some says e signature electronic signature so you have to know how to write in your e-signature, especially if you have a lot of um, details under your name. I'll show you later on regarding that. How to automatically put in your e-signature. And lastly, how about this? What do we call that one? That's your footer. <laughs> The header knife footer. Yes, very good attachment. So you can attach uh, files in email, but then if it's uh, if it's too too heavy, too heavy, large. too large, <laughs> too large. Now it will automatically be saved in Google Drive, and the Google Drive link is what you're going to share in your Gmail. So it's basically automatic na siya. The Gmail will um, notify you that your attachment is too large and then they're just gonna going to put it in Gmail at Google Drive. Okay? So yeah, uh, so speaking about uh, e-signature, this is one way of putting in your e-signature under your email. So... If you if you want to put in your face there, you can always do that. Um, in your case, there's another template for that. In your case, I would suggest since you'll be um, emailing your teacher, I do suggest putting in your full name as your signature, your full name, and then your section underneath. Like uh, you can do eleven steam A or 11 Yums B, something like that. So that uh, we as teachers, we have a lot of um, sections we're handling and we don't want to always ask you what section do you, what section uh, are you from? If you want to look at your, um, the data that we have for, for you. So uh, yeah, put in your full name and then at least your full name and then your, um, what do you call this one? Section. So that you always won't begin your email with, I am Iva Muni from Steam 11N and I would like to blah, blah, blah. Okay. So here's an example of my email signature. So I don't have to type this every time I compose an email. So you set this up as so settings in your Gmail. There is already a tutorial on how to do this. Save it, and then every time you click on Compose, this will automatically show up without, again, how about if you're going to be sending 10 emails? You don't want to be writing the whole thing all over again. So always use your um, saved e-signature. You can find this in the settings to set up your um, e-signature. Okay? This is part, again, of your uh, assignment for module two. So you have to learn how to do this. Uh, um, don't think that by just typing it manually, every time you send an email that I don't know that it's not an 
it's it's not an e signature because it has a different kuan magudang e signature, uh, different text or font and style. Okay, so yeah, please take note of that. And uh, the last topic would be cloud computing. Have you heard of cloud computing before? Or maybe perhaps the cloud. Can I get a koan, an answer in chat box or an icon if you've heard about the cloud? Yes. <clears throat> and for sure, since you've heard it, you've used it already. Can you give me some uh, applications that uses the cloud? Yes, we have iCloud, what else? How about in YouTube? How about people in YouTube? OneDrive, the sky, <laughs> the sky. Sure, nang the sky. OneDrive, yeah, very good. Dropbox, yes. Where we save our documents. Google Docs, yes, that can be part. Word, pwede na si Word, Microsoft Word, because they're actually um, online na sa Microsoft Office 365. You can access them online, Mega, iCloud. Yes, Google applications are now in the cloud, Samsung Cloud, Dropbox, Notion. Could be, yeah, I haven't heard of Notion. <laughs> OneDrive, I'll check on Notion. Yes, those built-in uh, cloud services, that's what we call that is part of cloud computing. So basically anything that you save um, online, anything that you save online. So like aside, um, nowadays we save files online, sa una, but we still have uh, like hard drive or flash drive. Uh, diba flash drive, uh, a while back, how many years was that? 10, 20, we have the disk this very small diskette that can only save 5 MB of files with the diskette and then it progressed to the flash drive. And then after the flash drive, we have, we have the external hard drive. External hard drive, which, which can reach up to three terabytes. Is it three or just one? Is it three? One? Is it already three, guys? Do you know? Three terabytes, no ba? Yes. And then, of course, together with that is now cloud. Saving your files in the cloud, uh, like Google Drive and what you've mentioned. Okay, I'm also reading about Notion. It doesn't have the form of Google Drive, but the option to save files on the internet. Oh, okay. Anything that you can save online. If Notion makes you save things online, then yes, that is part of cloud computing. So basically, there's a lot of uh, services for cloud computing. You, you might see this uh, image in our virtual classroom. You might wonder what SAAS is, PAAS, IAAS. So yeah, basically everything that they do here uh, has something to do with the internet. So especially like, we'll just take this part here, uh, the user's part, software as a service. So you've been using it like your Google Suite. You've been saving files in Google Drive, um, accessing Google Docs through uh, the internet because without the internet, you can't access your anything from your Google Suite. So that is a software as a service. For the rest of this one, the platform, they're also using like web servers uh, online. So let's not just, let's not dive lang into here because uh, these are very technical already, but at least you have an idea of what cloud computing is. Okay, just, just think of it that anything that is saved online is part of cloud computing, okay? Uh, like when you save also your images, right? In uh, Amazon, uh, Google Photos, iCloud, 
iCloud. So that's part of your cloud computing services. And then of course you have your Google Drive and Google Forms. Uh, Google Drive, ha, um, just make sure that you you organize your your files in your Google Drive. Butang yun yung folder. I'll share na lang my. Can I share? I know for sure you've already used that. I mean, you, for those who have, at least you. See, you wait, share circle. We're almost done, by the way. Can you see it now? <laughs> so this is my MTech folder. So you can put all the folders and then uh, right click to, to change color. You can also move folders. So put them in folders if you have uh, if you have uh, nine subjects, put all your files there, put nine files and then put all your files there in in those uh, subjects. And uh, yeah, let me just talk about na lang the for those who did not do their assignment yet. For those who did not do their assignment yet, let me just say Let me just explain it to you further. But I know there are already some who has um, passed their assignment. So only submit to me the link of your of your, of the Google Drive, okay? Only submit the link of your Google Drive. Um, for email, guys, make sure that don't send the don't send me the email. Just take a screenshot. Take a screenshot of that email because if I have 10 sections. I'll be receiving around 300 something emails. So I just want you to take a screenshot of your composed email and then upload it in Google Drive. That's where I will read your email. Upload it in Google Drive. And make sure your email has, um, in your email, of course, aside from putting all the proper, like the subject, the body, the salutation, the closing, uh, I want to know what interesting information you have learned from module two. Uh, that's what uh, should that's what what should be in in the body of your email. Uh, tell me something you have learned, and then of course, um, the way I score you is. Really, I can see that you've learned something. Don't just tell me, I've learned a lot of new information because that's very easy to say. I want to know what information, new information you have learned or maybe perhaps a skill you have learned in module two. And don't just enumerate the skill. I know now how to add email. I know now how to use Google Form and I know how to use Google Drive. How will I know if you really know? Maybe just just writing it. <laughs> it should be like that. Okay. Again, screenshot lang sa email. And for Google Forms, guys, also, uh, I added here na lang slam book because autograph may also mean the signature, right? So yeah, I added slam book. There are a lot of questions you can find um online or examples of a slam book or you can just create your own question we we used to call this autograph man good like we what's your name what's your favorite color what your who's your crush charm so at least 10 questions will do at least and you can have more uh at least 10 will do see be creative with your question you can ask anything under the sun and what else? And of course, yes, please make sure that three of your classmates answer it. 
since you are going to add me as a collaborator, I'll be able to know how many already has answered your um, slam book or autograph. Okay, uh, what else? Yeah, and this is, here's how you are going to be graded with the uh, with this activity. Any questions regarding the assignment? Clear lang siya. Okay. Wala na. So, yeah, basically, um, that's it for module two. May I know what you have learned so far? Can you put it in the chat box? Or maybe perhaps new things you have learned in this module before we end. Oh, we can also use the jump board. If you wait. So jump board na lang guys, ha? I want to, I want to, I know. Share and then add it Can we put it sa jump board, the things you have learned today? Ayun yun yung binuang yung jump board, ha? Binuang yun itong first page. Kaning page two. So that I can have a screenshot and post it somewhere out there. Robbie said no comment. Okay, no comment at us exercise. But uh, what have you learned? New things, na lang, new learnings for module two. Oh, yeah, you can put that there, Christine. Enlighten Kazumini says CC and BCC. The CC is basically carbon copy. The BCC is secret ni siya, blind. So si CC, ang gisenda ni mo sa CC, they can't know, they won't know who else you sent the email to because of the BCC. Yes, more platform. More platforms sa uh, email, di ba? About productivity tools. What about productivity tools? Types of productivity tools. It's impressive how that is. Yes, the same. I only use uh, a little bit of those tools, especially emails. You don't need to use all of those email applications, right? But at least we know that there are a lot. Na delete lang ito. Naiga delete ninyo, ha? So, anyways, just put in your learnings. No delete logi. Ayun ninyo delete to, guys. Eh, I need that. Just put in your learnings in Jamboard, especially uh, also those uh, that are in, in YouTube. Um, most of the information discussed I've already known, but I have learned about the e-signature and additional application for documents and presentations. Yes, that's, that's good, Jason. So yes, kindly put your, again, learnings in Jamboard. And since you can edit that, please don't delete and yes, I really hope that you have learned a lot and then you'll be able to do your uh, the assignment for module two properly. And that's also your evidence of learning when I see that uh, what you have submitted is correct. So I'll be waiting long here for, for, for those who put in their their learnings in Jumboard. And uh, that's it for this morning. Thank you everyone for joining uh, our YouTube viewers and our Zoom viewers. We'll see you again next Wednesday for our last um, session of Big Lecture. So we have uh, Mr. Jade Montemayor to be discussing module three. So thank you again and pwede nang balik tulog. <laughs> or do your activities thank you everyone i hope you've learned a lot
Thank you, ma'am. 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 Thank